When was the first time you played a old video game and you said to yourself, wow, this aged very well. I had this exact feeling when I played the Zelda Ocarina of Time remaster for the very first time on the 3DS. But I never had this feeling this big before until I played Okami for the very first time last year. For the people that don't know what Okami is, it's a Japanese PlayStation 2 game by Clover Studio that released in 2006 worldwide and back then it was very much a highly praised video game. Normally I tend to talk about video game news on this channel and I still plan to do so in the future, but this was a video idea I have been sitting on for some time now that I want to make some sort of retrospective video on Okami because I played it for the very first time last year and it holds up very well even against my game of the year last year that was God of War Ragnarok. So why is it so good? And I thought this was very interesting to talk about for today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and maybe I might feature you in the next video. It can be about Okami or anything else you want to comment, I suppose. Okami is basically a action-adventure game where you solve puzzles, go through dungeons and explore an amazing world while you're at it. It's very reminiscent to a other little cult indie game franchise that no one really knows about. It's, it's very obscure and very niche. There is one thing that you will notice immediately about this game when you look at it and it's the beautiful art style. Okami has a art style that is very unique that you never really see often in video games based on traditional Japanese culture. It's influenced by traditional Japanese and Chinese art called ukiyo-e and sumi-e. This style was achieved with a form of cell shading and most of the time cell shaded games really visually age better because it's very stylized. You can look at other examples like Wind Waker or the Borderlands series as an example. But to be fair that isn't the only aspect of Okami that aged very well. The other aspect that aged very well is the gameplay. Gameplay wise, Okami can basically be played by anyone. It's not that it has a steep difficulty learning curve at all. The combat is rather simple actually. Where the real spice comes from is its brush mechanic. At first I thought this would be achieved with motion control somehow even though the PlayStation 2 doesn't have that at all. Pretty stupid of me, I know. Like a game from the Wii era or something like that. I am not really a fan of those, I can tell you. But the game actually lets you draw with the thumbsticks. Sometimes it's a bit clunky though, not gonna lie. But it's definitely one of the most unique video game mechanics out there. The brush lets you draw anything in the world corresponding to a certain technique that you learned. You can use these brush techniques in combat, but also in the world exploration, which gives it an extra layer of mystery and spice on what you can do with it. Some areas might be locked off until you have a certain brush technique to continue the story. If you draw a line, you can do a slash attack, or if you draw a crossed circle, you can summon the wind. Or you can draw a moon in the sky and the world will change to the night time as an example. When it comes to the combat it's actually pretty straightforward. You get teleported in a arena and you basically fight Japanese yokai which are basically supernatural beings that come from Japanese folklore like ghosts, demons or shapeshifters. The game lets you fight with two primary weapons. This can be a shield or a sword or ranged shooting beats. You can upgrade these individual weapons in the game to get stronger against your foes. Another thing I really like about Okami are the boss fights because you always have a unique quirk 
that you need to exploit in order to beat them. It's very similar to how the Zelda games handle boss fights in that regard. And it's just more than just being difficult. Sometimes the boss fights can even be pretty easy. The story is actually pretty simple. You play as the sun god, the Japanese sun god Amaterasu in the form of a wolf. And together you travel with your companion, very charming companion, Isen. And basically you travel Nippon together in order to search for all the 13 celestial brush techniques. Isen is a little bit of a pervy character though. That probably never gets late because he gets way too excited when he sees a woman. And he likes to smack talk against the main protagonist as well from time to time. But the more you travel with him, the better he gets as a companion. He is at least better than a certain other companion that I know of. But along the way, you will stumble upon different people that will need your help with a certain situation or problem. And these NPCs are always very charming to talk to. They all have a unique personality in some way or a unique backstory to them. And none of the NPCs feel lifeless whatsoever. Okami is very good at interweaving its Japanese history and culture in its world building. So if you are a fan of Japan in general, then this game is a must play. Also, if you are a fan of Zelda likes, this is probably the best Zelda like game that you can play without having Zelda in the damn title. I will tell you guys a secret. I actually didn't like the game at first when I started playing it. And there is one big reason for that. Which is the voice acting. As much as I love this game, I could not stand half of the cast's voices you hear. Especially a certain little bug that follows me everywhere where I go. Luckily, the modern remaster version of the game has a feature to turn off the mumble voices in the game and that absolutely saved my playthrough. The game does actually have a little bit of a slow start, but once you get through the first hour, you really start to see the pace of the game getting faster and the world getting bigger. And I really highly advise you guys to stick with it. That's what I did. and. I do not regret it whatsoever. Unfortunately, the guys that made Okami, which was Clover Studio, stopped their activities in 2007 to merge with Capcom. A few people there went on to form the now renowned Platinum Games with the former director of the game Hideki Kamiya. There is actually a second game called Okami Den for the Nintendo DS. It's supposed to be a spiritual successor to Okami, but I haven't played it yet, which I will probably do after I make this video though. Now, the main reason why I actually made this video is to convince you guys to play this game. Because I highly believe Capcom does have a very unique IP under their belt that they aren't doing really anything with. And this game could be so much more and i really wanted to see a sequel like a proper console sequel or prequel in any way maybe with a whole new story but i believe that this ip could be a very good competitor against zelda and i don't really think capcom quite sees it as a competitor which is a pretty big shame now of course most of the original developers aren't there anymore at capcom but I definitely believe with the right team, a new Okami can be made with a new studio or maybe in collaboration with Platinum Games. The game doesn't really need a remake at all because it aged so well in my opinion. I would just like to see a sequel with maybe the same characters or a brand new reincarnation of Amaterasu. There are many ways they could make a sequel for it. 
They could stay with the traditional formula that works, or maybe they could make it even a open world like game like Tears of the Kingdom. Think about it. What if you could use your brush techniques to traverse the open world and maybe the more techniques you find, the more secrets you could explore in the open world. I think something like that would be a very cool idea. Hopefully I convinced you somewhat to check out the game for yourself or maybe even play it. Let me know in the comment section down below if a lot of people buy this game, especially the remaster, I do think Capcom can see some potential in the IP at least to maybe do something with it because I've been praying for it because this is such a unique game. I loved it so much in its art style, in its exploration and story, everything basically. And it deserves, in my opinion, more attention. Thank you guys for watching this basically weird <laughs> video about Okami. Something else that I want to do, like a retrospective video. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of Okami if you've played it yourself? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming news. I normally do that. Leaks and rumors. Maybe I do more historic video stuff or retrospectives on older games. Let me know if you want to see that in the comment section down below. And also visit my social media in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next Get Wrecked news video. Bye-bye.